Okay guys, let's continue assembly. So next step would be to install cup stands and still make sure that you have a nylon spacer here. Add a little bit of lubricant. Comparing to 555 ESG I just did recently. As this guy has one lapis bearing, this is a good thing. So it should be more stable over time. Okay, now the second. Again, make sure that you have nylon spacer. And put him back. Like that. You see how long it rotates? This means that uh, friction is minimal. Next, uh, I need to put lubricant into this bearing. So you see one of them is a blue one, it's a lapis bearing. And this one is just plastic sure. That's where right capstan sits always in the same position. Plus it's pulled by magnet. Uh, to this lapis bearing so it always will be sitting straight and will not be wobbling left and right in key 7 we have two lapis bearings so it's even better is that okay now maybe I'll close this cover oh belt sorry we will install the new belt I will use the white one I like them pretty much. They're of a good quality and produce a very low oven flutter. Okay, it sits in position. Now we can close it. Like that. And install the screws. Two. I'm not times them fully because there is no like centered position, so we need to install all screws before tying them up. So the last one will hold the wires. Don't tie this one too tight because I have made a couple decks when this screw was over tight and it would not hold any longer just good enough okay installing the connectors back here and here okay we're done with this part now both cup stands are all in free and long you see next part we have to clean up oil from the top part of the cup stands I will use a cotton swab uh, with uh, uh, isopropyl to clean it up. Uh, before I will probably use our spacers, so the larger one goes to the left side. No, to the right side. Yes, here and the smaller one to the left side. Done. Now I will clean with isopropyl by rotating cup stands because we don't like our new pinch rollers to be exposed to any oil. The better you do it, the longer it will last. I believe it's a little bit too much free space for the left cup stand. You see, it goes left and right too much. It should be 0 0.1, 0 0.3 millimeters. So how to adjust? Let me show you. You will be using a flat screwdriver. Put it just between the metal piece here and the plastic back, plastic show, and slowly 
push it okay it's better it's still about half a millimeter but it's already better this would be wobbling less and this means that it would keep face better so i will just add a little bit more okay now now it's a little bit too tight uh, let me push it back just a little bit little bit too tight it's better than it was okay <laughs> let's repeat the procedure two three I need a bigger screwdriver to do it slowly now we have a good amount in just a little bit and it's rolls free and it will be sitting good it's just like less than half a millimeter and now it rolls very well okay we've done with this part next uh, install this sure this arm back okay. and fix it with this spacer like that just push it with your finger and it will be there and next step we can close this part like that and install the screws Now we need to install this wire properly so there is a hole underneath here. That's how I learned that this wire, uh, this transport has been disassembled before me. So now it's installed properly. So that's the way it goes through this hole here. Uh, next step I will be replacing pinch rollers both of them to replace uh, this one we need to disassemble this and remove the guide to not broke it when we will be replacing pinch roller i've seen some guys they broke it and it was like unpleasant okay now i will replace this pinch roller this one is goes much easier use just flat screwdriver put it in and pop it up from below the seat and remove this shaft let me get new pinch rollers So this one installed in the shaft and just popping in like that. Done. See, rotates free. Then just uh, put it on. Oh, we forget to lubricate these two shafts here. I forget, not me, really, sorry. Uh, so let's move to that. Okay. That's where our pinch rollers' arms will be moving on these shafts. 
we don't like them to stuck, right? So now we can install this pinch roller. Um, position and it's just this. Ah, here we go with this pin like just use your finger and this plastic ring will get on Okay, we have one. Now let me replace, like remove the shaft from this one. It will take a minute. I will get back to you. I need to use a vise to do this carefully. So I'm just using a vice and a very very thin screwdriver to push it to the side. Come on. This holds too tight for some reason. Removed and installing the new one. Okay, done. Install it, rolls free, not much free ride. Good. Now installing the guide back. it's well you see there should be a space between and it should be rolling free to work properly now assembly it back like that put on spring and install in the arm. And it should go to you know, the spring and install in the nut. You can use your eye. I would like to see that the guide looks straight on the rice head. Okay. Next step, I will use a guide anyway to do it properly. And I will check the height. See, it's, it's too high. Lowering it, still a little bit too high. Now it's perfect. So you see guide gets clean right here no any friction that's where tape should go light and easy okay 
next step would be for me to replace this hat and I will be adjusting it. Uh, I'm sure you should not do that in most cases. So I will be unsoldering the wires, uh, removing these three screws, put new hat and solder wires back. So meet you a little bit later when I will be installing new hat. So it will be this one. I've got two from this customer. One of them looks promising. Is not much wear, just a little bit. The other one this is, is in very bad shape. Let me show you. So this one actually is doomed. I I look under microscope and it was pretty bad worn with lots of grooves. Okay, let me do that and I meet you in the next part.